Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to discuss the difference between this Marans, what you see over here, uh, the Marans 2275, and the Acuface E206. Um, I had the E206 myself, and the 202075. I heard a mint one in Simon's house, and uh, although I could not uh, uh, really test it out, I heard the sound difference. I called Simon yesterday and I asked him, Simon, you have both these amplifiers. He have them both. Tell me 100% honest. You are a Marans guy, he, because Simon is a Marans guy. Um, tell me the sound difference is uh, if 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 the acuface is on 100%, so sonic sonically. Uh, how much will you give the Marans 202075? 20, 20, he told me 75%. I said to him, okay, I don't believe myself that difference is that much. I think more in 85%, okay? But 85% uh, in comparison with 100% 100 is still a big difference, yeah? And um, uh, so this is not a VS test, yeah? So sound test, what you normally get from me. No, this is about this Marans 2020-75 okay this guy have this ad online since 17 august so today it is 8 september so that's already three weeks uh, people stored this ad 47 times so it's 47 people or persons are interested in this thing yeah and this is the uh, the number how many people or persons watch this ad okay in these three weeks uh, he have a highest bid from 500 euro okay but 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 my friends I translated in English for you it have no sound it have no sound so the thing is broken and as you can see over here it miss all the knobs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven knobs. So it have no sound, and it misses all the knobs. And a knob like this will cost you about 10 to 15 euro on eBay. And if you have to pay the shipping cost, it, it will cost you in the end 100 euro extra. So the, the guy who bid 500, in the end, it will cost him 600. But then, you have to go with this thing to a repair guy. And if he is lucky, if he is lucky, uh, it is a small thing and this repair guy asks him 75 euro or maybe 100 euro if it is a little bit bigger, yeah. And if he is very unlucky, it can be a broken transformer. <laughs> and so this guy bid 500 euro, yeah, you know, you know he have to buy these knobs from eBay. That will cost him 100 euro extra, so then the thing will cost 600 and then he have to bring it to a repair guy. Yeah, and then it will cost him, if he is lucky, 700 euro, if he is lucky. Yeah, okay. And on the other hand, we have this beautiful Acuface E206, yeah. <laughs> and this guy is selling his... Uh, uh, for the absolute connoisseur and hi-fi enthousiast, enthousiast Acuface E206 integrated stereo amplifier in perfect condition. Uh, recent, recently checked by Hi Fi specialist shop, including original manual. I am offering the amplifier and the rest of my stereo system for a sale due to an internal, international move. Okay, this guy is moving out of the, of the, of the Netherlands and that's why he's selling this thing. And it's the highest, he, he is since uh, this ad is online since July 15, so almost two months. It uh, uh, 1400 persons watched this ad and 36 persons saved this ad. And the highest bid, the highest bid is 525 euro. <laughs> this is unbelievable, my friends. And um, this is how it is looking beautiful, beautiful mint one. Yeah, and, <laughs> and um, the guy wants, I, I think it is worth 675 without any. Any discussion, it is the value, the, 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 well, he, he first asked, because I'm following this ad, he first asked 
750 and he dropped his price because his highest bid is 525 not sure maybe he had some mail bids maybe he had he have his telephone number maybe some people uh, some persons uh, called this guy maybe offered him 600 but nobody yet offered him did this 675 because as soon as somebody offered this 675 and i believe if they offered him 625 or 650 he will also sell it immediately but nobody have interest in this thing yeah to buy it for 675 but but they are they want to pay 500 euro for this thing without knobs knowing that these knobs will cost you in the end 100 euro yeah so it will be on 600 i just calculated for you if you are lucky it is a small thing it will cost you 700 euro this thing is two times 75 watt and i know uh, this thing is a receiver and the other one is the amplifier but yeah nowadays people can have their tuner sound that tuner uh, over bluetooth or over wi-fi wi-fi and uh, you don't need that tuner anymore but if you compare the reason why this thing people are more interested want want to pay more for a model 2275 as a much better sounding aquiface with more power is because of the looks yeah and uh, the uh, well uh, especially about the looks that that's that's the most important reason because if you have this aquiface in your in your house you know doesn't matter where it is in your in your living room in a, in a audio cabinet or just you know next to your television under your television uh, nobody who will visit your house will notice this aquiface nobody but really nobody because it it looks like a a normal amplifier with some buttons and knobs on it and if you have this thing in your house this is the first thing people will notice because it is just a beautiful piece of art and uh, that's why I <laughs> I bought that advanced acoustic because if you if if you have if if you have a good eye for for beauty and I can say that I have an eye for beauty, you know. And uh, then you know that advanced acoustic set is, if you see how, you know, you compare that advanced acoustic set with other high-end audio stuff, audio amplifiers, what is for sale now at the moment, then you see that uh, Macintosh makes some beautiful equipment, yeah, beautiful view meters. Um, you see that uh, Yamaha came out with VU meters a few years ago, big VU meters, but they are very pricey. Also second hand, they are very, very pricey. Uh, and uh, there are many more brands these days who try, who try to, to, to implant that, that, that 70s style back or 70, 80 styles, because VU meters was still interesting in the 80, back in their modern uh, high-end stereo gear. And because they discovered that uh, people want not only sound, they want that their uh, device is beautiful. They want a eye, an eye catcher in their living room. And... Uh, I bought that advanced acoustic set, that second hand one, for 1100 euro, or 1150 I think, yeah, 1150. And the uh, new price was doubled, 2300 euro. And on one thing for sure, because that set, that set is, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure if it is or no, they make it now with different VU meters, and the VU meters I bought are more beautiful than the one they are selling now. It was sold for um, with that acryl black face plate, and you see there's these big blue VU meters. Uh, it was sold for a few years, six years. But I can tell you that in the period this Marans was sold, 
many uh, audio was more uh, popular than it is now so an audio device in your house was more popular in the 70s than it is now I mean nowadays people buy a soundbar they buy Sonos you know and uh, 2300 euro is already too much for most most people to invest for their you know for the amplifier section yeah it's not that important anymore in the living room and uh, because women, women these days uh, have more power, much more power, my friends. In the in the in the seventies, uh, most women didn't even work; they didn't have a job. So uh, the guy who, who was working, he brought the money home, and, he, and 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 yeah, he has always he had he always had the last word because it was his money, it was his earning. But these days, most women are working also, and so they are equally deciding you know what stereo set they buy and women just do not want to buy big speakers and and big stereo uh, amplifiers this, this, this is one of the reasons so the advanced acoustic set i bought i know before i bought it it is the new classic it is already a classic it is beautiful 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 although that advanced acoustic doesn't sound doesn't sound the same as this Acuface. This Acuface sounds better than my Advanced Acoustic. I had this Acuface E206. I sold mine for 550 euro. I had a black one, a beautiful mint one, and uh, I bought that Advanced. Uh, that advanced, advanced Acoustic said I will not sell it. No, it will not drop in value, even if it is a modern thing, because modern things drop in value. It already dropped 50 percent. And believe me, it maybe will drop, maybe it will drop to 800, 900 euros. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I can tell you one thing, in 10, 10 years from now, it will, it will be more expensive. Because uh, uh, people like beauty, you know, and there are not many sold from them. Because we are living in another time. This... There were many, many Marances 2275 sold in the 70s. Many, 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 believe me. Much more Marances, not only 2275, you had the 2250, the 2265, the 2270. You had all those different types of Marances, and there are many on the market. Many, many, many. There are not that many advanced acoustic sets I have, you know. So uh, the market. Uh, they are already more expensive than I paid. <laughs> they are now second-hand about 1400-1500 euro. Yeah, and so I don't think that price will drop. I think it will only gain more value. So if you have an eye for these things, believe me. Acuface also make uh, 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 amplifiers, still amplifiers with VU meters and. Uh, but this amplifier, they didn't have a VU meters. If you buy the Acuface E202, so the very first amplifier, it was not the very first TOF Acuface. Acuface, the first TOF they made was a separate amplifier and a separate pre-amplifier. But the first integrated was the E202. And with two little VU meters, and that one will cost you at the moment 11 uh, between 1000 and 1300 euro 1400 euro that's the price these days for a 1974 Acuface E202 and because it, it has more value than this thing because it is more beautiful because it have those uh, those small two small view meters and um, but okay sonically this thing is better so Ten years ago, the value of a Acuface E206, so ten years ago, it was about 900 euro. You could find these for in the Netherlands for 900 euro. So, in ten years, they dropped. I think you can, if if you are patient, if you live in a good part of the Netherlands, this guy probably do not live in a good part from the Netherlands. Let me see where it is. Yeah, this is where he lives. And that, that's the problem. He lives in the far east corner of the Netherlands. If you would live here with the same amplifier, you would have a 100 euro more. Yeah. 
because people do not want to drive from here. Most people live on this in this this area. They do not want to drive 200 kilometers to you know to buy a aquiface, and uh, that's the reason because. Uh, I think he can have this. He, could, he would. I think the value is about 650, 675 euro for this thing, in this color. If it is black, it is a little bit cheaper, yeah, because this this one is more beautiful than the black one. And this strange thing, you know, that you see that a not that good. It is good sounding. Don't don't, don't take me wrong. It is this Marantz Model 2075 sounds beautiful. It sounds beautiful and really. Uh, if if you buy this thing, you will enjoy uh, your your sound, yeah. But if you if you have cheap speakers, I mean cheap speakers uh, or not that good speakers, because some cheap speakers are still very good, yeah, and not that good speakers. And uh, then the sound difference between this one and the uh, the Aquiface is not that clear. Yeah, but if you have expensive speakers, very good speakers, 1,000 euro second hand yeah, and up, then you will hear that sound difference more. Yeah, but people do not care about that sound difference. They do not care about the better sound quality. They care about sound because this sound is good, good enough. Yeah, for most of you, also for me, for me this sound is good enough. But uh, they care more about the looks, and I and I have to admit I'm one of them. I <laughs> if 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 I had the choice between a a this model the 2275, but completely working with knobs, yeah, a nice mint one, and and uh, and this one, so uh, uh, the Aquiface also mint, better sounding. I would choose the for the Marans 2075. So I'm one of them, you know. And I, I mean, um, for many audiophiles, they would tell you, yeah, "This is this, this guy is not a real audiophile." But yeah, you know, I, I I I'm a nostalgic guy, and I love the looks from those Marances, and and that's the reason they are so expensive. And, and I'm going to, to to show you something weird. You have this this thing what you see now with. It is not that strange. It is not that strange at all. You have this thing also with cars. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something. Watch this. Watch this. This is. This car had a new price from, in 1970, in 1987. It was built. This model was built between 1970 and 1987. The new price was 5,000 euro. In 1987, that was the new price. Yeah, it had 929 horsepower. <laughs> the top speed was 115 kilometers an hour, and that is 71 miles. <laughs> yeah, it is unbelievable. The acceleration was it, uh, from zero to 135 seconds. <laughs> And uh, it was a gasoline car, and it was really uh, a friend of mine had uh, no, his mother had this car, and uh, uh, he borrowed that car when we went out, you know. So I often sit in this car, and and when you had some uh, wind was blowing in your face, it didn't even reach that 115 kilometers. The maximum speed then was what was 100, 105, yeah. And, but now, today, <laughs> today, this is what people want. They ask for this, uh, this thing. What's this? What's the prices? This is in euros. <laughs> so this is fully restored, fully restored. And uh, yeah, my friends, this one is uh, five thousand and a half. It's cheap, but it is not fully restored and this one this one is a joke this one is a joke what's this this one is an, an older model than the one i just showed you and they ask eight thousand euro for it <laughs> and watch how this thing is looking unbelievable unbelievable that people ask 
8,000 euro. But this, this, this is nostalgic. And the people who buy these kind of cars, they do not park this car in front of their door, you know. And they have a big garage, you know, because if you put this car or place or park this car on the street, uh, within five years it is rusty again because these cars were always rusty. You bought this car new and after five, six years you saw the first rust. They were rusting cars. And so if you buy, if you buy a, uh, a, a completely revised one for, uh, let me see, well, this one for example, you know, if you buy this one, uh, the white one, and uh, you buy this car completely revised and you pay this 15,000 euro and you park this car in front of your door, after six years you lost all your money or half of it because it is rusting again, you know. So people who buy these cars park them in their garage and it, it only comes out of this gar that garage when it is shiny, when it is not rainy, when it is shiny, a dry day, and to drive a little bit with this car. This is why uh, people buy these cars, not to use them for daily use. Yeah? And uh, But yeah, it is three times more expensive than the new one. Three times more expensive. So you can imagine if, if, you, if you now see those Marances, yeah, this Marance, yeah, the new price was 2,000, more as 2,000, Gilders, so 1,000, more as 1,000 euro. So, and if you compare it with that car, that one is three times more expensive than the new price back then in 1987, then this thing can be even within 10 or 15 years, maybe have a value from 3,000 euro. You know, if you, if you compare it with that car, yeah. So, and this thing is not rusting. It is not rusting. You can repair everything. What is inside, you can repair. You know, so it is a different thing than a car. I mean, if you compare it with paintings, and I will tell tell you something about paintings. Uh, this guy, <laughs> this guy, this is the last painting from Herman Brod, and Herman Brod was a rocker. Um, and um, if his biggest hit was Saturday Night, just Google that hit. It was a rock guy. I met this guy a few years ago, or not a few years ago. Uh, I met this guy before his, his suicide, because in 2001 he jumped from the Hilton <laughs> and uh, killed himself. And this painting he made the day before his jump. And uh, this is a very expensive painting. This guy was on art school, on the art academy, but I don't think this is art, my friends. I think a child from 12 or 13 years can draw this or make this painting. And I will show you his paintings. This is the official side from his son, and he is painting this Herman because he was a singer. And this guy, Herman Brod, he was completely uh, on alcohol, on, on, on drugs, and he, he was completely, you know, if, if you met this guy, he couldn't, he, couldn't, he couldn't talk normal with this guy because he was completely stoned and he didn't know what he was doing, yeah. He sold, he sold paintings, his paintings were selling good. And the day before he died, he made six paintings in one day. <laughs> so um, there's a, there are a lot of fake paintings from this guy out there. And in between, I'm going to tell you a story about Herman Brod. <laughs> I heard this story from a very trustful source. This guy lives now for 25 years in Dubai. And... Uh, uh, he often visits the Netherlands, and uh, he's a family member of me. And uh, he told me that because he, he is in art, and he told me this story about Herman Brod. Uh, one day he was sitting. So this guy, Herman Brod, died in 2001 because he, he, he did that, that jump from the, the, the upper floor from the Hilton Hotel, you know, because his body was completely destroyed by alcohol and drugs. And uh, 
a few years before that jump, he was sitting in Amsterdam with two of his friends and he had an order because the next day uh, he had to deliver three paintings <laughs> and um, this guy Hammond Broad was able to make several paintings a day if he was sober yeah and um, because the day before he jumped he, he made six six paintings the day before he jumped he, he made that jump from the Hilton Hotel and um, but in that moment he was not sober <laughs> and he asked his two drinking and drugs buddies I'm not sure if they also use drugs but um, um, so that that one I made up <laughs> but he, he asked them if if they can go with him to his uh, to his house to make each of them one painting yeah so these two guys went to his house each of them made a painting not sure what painting they made a guy who told me this story he didn't know also I asked him about it he didn't know and uh, quickly made those three paintings for that delivery the only thing what Herman Bro did was to sign those paintings like he made those paintings himself <laughs> that is you know a guy who doesn't take life serious how you can expect he take takes his job serious you know this guy was a singer he was an artist but he was completely his, his mind was destroyed he was he was not serious with life and I mean um, so one of these paintings what you see here <laughs> could be easy could be easy one of those paintings uh, that those two other guys made and that's the story I know how many paintings from him were made by his woman his wife his son his, his other friends of him you, nobody knows that's the only the only story I know is this story you know and I'm not sure if this story is true but the one who told me this story is for me 100% reliable so um, all of these paintings <laughs> how many how many are really made by Herman Brod himself because it is so easy to make a fake painting from him because this is his style this is his style I mean and uh, let me show you one of them uh, one like this I mean everybody can make a picture a painting like this it costs 7,000 euro but because it is painted by Herman Brod it have more value you know he made the, the, the king and the queen <laughs> and both are 6,000 euro a piece and I mean I think that's ridiculous but yeah who am I this is Muhammad Ali <laughs> 8,000 euro <laughs> this is foolish my friend the shark the shark is uh, yeah that's that's a nice one 8,750 euro <laughs> and this is this is just ridiculous the to the top 7,000 uh, yellow man and um, okay this guy this guy it was something else it, it was a good artist I I never saw him live on a big stage but I was working in that uh, I was young I was selling I had my own corner full moon full moon was a discotheque and uh, discotheque and uh, they had Herman Broad every month every month Herman Broad was playing over there with his band and I had that that bread corner I was selling bread soon and bread with uh, with meat and other things and uh, and I mean I, 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 and the guy from the discotheque I I didn't pay nothing for the corner he said okay this is I just came to him I was young I think I was 20 years old I came to him and I told him listen this is you do not not nothing with that eat corner I want to sell my bread over there he said okay okay let's try it out and I sold bread over there for over a year and in the in in, in the weekends you know on busy nights when he had uh, artists it was always full that place full moon full moon in Rotterdam yeah nice nice owner and I saw those Suriname breads and then I saw often that Herman Broad singing and yeah 
Yeah, a rock is not the kind of rock he rock. I like rock, but the kind of rock he sang was not my music. But he had some nice numbers, Herman Brood. And uh, so this is the same thing. People pay much money for this this kind of paintings because his name is Herman Brood, and this guy had much followers because they loved his music. He was, I think, in that period, the biggest rock rocker in the Netherlands. So he had some followers, and. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm, okay. So it is not strange, not strange at all that people want to pay these days uh, 700 euro for a, a a working or 700, even 750. I think the value now is 750 euro for a 20, 20 75. And it, but it is what it, what I think is strange that um, if you paid want to pay 750 euro for that one you know it is strange that that people do not want to pay 500 or, or 600 euro or 650 euro for a a acu face like this because sonically this i mean if you compare it with modern high end so high end from the last five years well, this thing is still, you know, uh, it is still sound-wise, you know, it is still uh, competitive, you know, with, with those modern high-end amplifiers. I, I mean, there are many people on, on forums and they're going to compare this amplifier um, with Amaran's PM78. <laughs> You heard me laughing because that's not not no. He, that Marans 2075 sounds better as a Marans PM87, 78, and people are, go, are, are, are writing in those forms. Well, there's not much of a sound difference. <laughs> the sound difference is huge, my friend. You cannot compare any Marans. I mean, uh, with a normal price tag. Yeah, I mean the the, the normal the normal integrated amplifiers i'm not talking about separate amplifiers separate power amplifiers with pre-amplifiers the integrated amps from denon onkyo um, pioneer uh, you cannot compare the sound with those amplifiers with this one this one will 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 win hand down well the denon the denon pma 960 i don't know if you know that amplifier the denon pma 960 that's different kind of amplifier but also that amplifier will cost you about 600 i'm not sure if i think i will go for the denon pma 960 if i would have the choice this one or a denon pma 960 i will go for it but that is that that is uh one of a kind you know that that denon pma 960 um and of course the sun Suisse. the sun Suisse, uh, from the 80s, uh, <laughs> I have two here, are equal or same sounding, they are very sonical as this Acuface. And uh, so there are not many amplifiers. Uh, the building quality is excellent. It is just an excellent first class building quality. Uh, then, so there are not many amplifiers in this price class, I'm, I'm talking about this price class, yeah? Uh, what you can compare with this Acuface. If you're looking for a good sound, uh, and you're not sure what to buy, you know, you are doubting. If, if, if you buy Acuface, you're always good. You're always good in sound quality, yeah? If you buy a Sansui, it's the same thing. But okay, a Sansui, the problem with Sansui is that... Um, uh, this thing is more easy to repair than a Sansui. Not not all Sansuis, but some Sansuis. Some Sansuis are hard to repair. You know, some. If you have an integrator, for example, A11000, I mean, those ones are double the price. This sun, this 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 Acuface, but and it maybe sounds a little bit better, but not not much better. And the price is double this one, but it have that nostalgic look, that black face blade and those silver knobs. You know, people. People want to pay an extra one, a, a, a few hundred bucks extra, maybe a third of the, the price, it, the value it, it should be, you know, uh, for the looks. Yeah, that that's that's real 
happening. I, I see that over and over again with, with stereo stuff, my friends. So sound wise, this thing is better than the Marans, but people are wanting, are willing to pay easy 700 to 750 euro for that Marans 2020-75. Even, uh, and they skip this one. They skip this one. Even if you can find this one for a little cheaper, you know, they skip this one, even this one sounds better. And that's the strange thing, what you see in, in, in everything around you, not only with audio gear, but also I just show you those cars, those stupid, stupid cars, man. I mean, in my view, these Citroëns, <laughs> uh, they are double the price of my Toyota I just bought. I mean... If somebody asks me, you want to change for for this Citroen, I say no, not in not in not in one one thousand years. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. But people want to pay for that nostalgic thing very much money, and and that's why I believe that why that's why you saw in those in these last ten years this 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 price change in 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 Marans. I mean. You could buy this one 10 years ago for 250 euro, 275 euro. You could buy it 20, 20, 75 mint one. I mean, I'm talking about 10 years ago, yeah. And now they are three doubled. They they three doubled in price, so 300 percent because they are now 750 euro, yeah. And this one, this one was 10 years ago 900 euro. So it dropped, it dropped, it dropped 30%. But I do not think that they're going to drop more as that, you know. And um, I think the, yeah, at a certain moment, at a certain moment, uh, when high-end prices in the shops get more and more expensive, you know, most of us cannot pay. I cannot pay those high-end prices from the shops. I mean, it is ridiculous what they ask, I mean. Some of you will say, well, you, this is the value you pay for, the quality you pay for. That's not really true, my friends. Uh, I mean, a new Acuface these days, you can pay eight, 9,000 euro. I mean, eight, 9,000 euro for an amplifier. I mean, come on, man. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and even if you have a very good job, you know, it's a lot of money. I mean, uh, if, if, if you come home every, every month with 4,000 euro, let's say, then you can say, okay, then you still have to work two months for that amplifier, that Equiface new amplifier. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so, and then you can buy this thing that is uh, sound-wise almost, almost maybe on 90% of that new thing in the shop. Well, I would go for this one any time of the day, any time of the year, my friends. I would go for this one, this cheap, cheap. That's what it is, cheap, 525. If you, if you do the guy a bit from 600, you have the thing. <laughs> okay, my friends, this was what I wanted to show you. And uh, that is, it's not that strange that old stuff is now this expensive. You see it everywhere. You see it with paintings from this, this crazy guy, Herman Brod, you know, the paintings are selling for eight, 8,000 euro. And <laughs> and this, uh, the, 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 the stupid car, uh, for me, it's, it's, it's a stupid car. I mean, uh, maximum speed 115, uh, 29 horsepower, and they ask 15,000 euro for it. I mean, come on, man, come on, man. Um, but this is, uh, this is because the rarer something is, the more money you have to pay for it. This is... This is the rule, and, and and my advanced acoustic set, it is not that rare, but once it is not selling anymore, yeah, it is already a classic. It is already a classic. I think, I think they are still selling, but with different VU meters. The new ones have different VU meters. I'm talking about this stuff, my friend. This is the one I have, yeah? I bought, I bought. The new price is uh, 12.49 without the preamp. Yeah, I have the complete set. And uh, now they are not selling this type anymore. Now they are selling this one. So you see the difference with the VU meters. You see that these VU meters are not that beautiful as the one I have. 
this is the classic the classic VU meters and this is more the modern type of VU meters and the price is the same but I would go for this one because I love more this they, and they are bigger if you compare it they are bigger so the bigger they are the more beautiful they are so this one I'm not sure if it is already out of stock no it is still selling it is still selling but once once this thing uh, is not selling anymore it is out of the out of out of stock it is a classic because because of the beauty the beauty stays you know sound wise maybe there are some things but yeah i just explained to you that that marans is also not if you compare it it's a sound it is a good sounding thing but if you compare it with that aquiface even Simon, my buddy Simon, you know, that Marans lover, he told me 75% VS, 100% the Aquiface. But I don't know, for myself personally, I see it more as 85, 90% VS, 100%. I don't, and there is a difference, but the difference is not that much, you know, that you will say it is 25% uh, lesser in sound. And this thing, it sounds good, I think comparable with that Marans, maybe a little bit better. Yeah, it is faster, it is faster than that Marans, and it has more power, you know. And, but this is the new classic, the new classic. It will, it will a new classic, believe me, my friends. So this thing, I bought it for 11, 1150 this complete set with that preamp. It will not drop in value because in the near future, within five years, and this thing is already not selling anymore for a few years and then people are willing are willing to pay more for this already second hand I, I was lucky to buy it for 11.50 i bought it in december and in december that's the month people never have money nobody have money because it is an expensive month and i bought it in that month and that's why i paid only 11.50 but Mm, people, uh, the value of this set is nowadays uh, 1400, 1450 euros. So I, I did a good, uh, it is in the box, it is in the box <laughs> for a few months now. And I'm not sure what to do with this. I, I will try it out with the new speaker cables when I made new speaker cables and power cables. And I will try it out again how the sound then is. But. Uh, at the moment, I enjoy more that Sansui. <laughs> uh, the, the sound of that Sansui, I have, I have two, but, and, and one is broken. And that Sansui sounds like this Aquiface. Yeah. So, uh, I enjoy more that sound. But I will not sell that Advanced Acoustic Set. No, my friends. No, no, no. I can sell many things. Yeah, I sold this one. But that advanced acoustic set, I will not sell. Well, this was a long video, a long video, you know, because I think many of you uh, do not understand why why uh, these manances are this expensive these days, why they become so expensive. And if you compare it with that stupid car, <laughs> from, for, okay, it is not a stupid car, it is... Uh, you know, for me it is stupid, but it is not a stupid car. Sorry for your Citroën lovers, but a car what I would never want, I would a car what I would never buy. You know, or what cost these days a revised one, so not a new one, a revised one. A new one is always better than a revised one, but a revised one. Uh, three times the price you paid. Uh, 34 years ago, yeah, then this thing is still cheap, this thing, yeah, if you compare that, because the price from this thing was about 22, 2300 guilders, so about 1000 euro, yes, back in 1975, and if you could say, okay, this thing will be three times the original value, then it would cost 3000 euro. You know, if you compare it with that car, completely revised, if it is completely revised and mint, then it should have, if you compare it with that car, 3,000 euro. Yeah. But uh, there are not many, there are many from these Marances left, you know, there, because it is, 
these Citroens that I just showed you, those cars, they are rusting and many of them which were sold new, they are not there anymore because they were total loose and uh, so there are not many left. There are more, there are many, many Marans receivers still, still there, still there, yeah. And, but people do not sell them. They do not sell them. And because they do not want to sell their Marans, the value keeps rising because more and more people discover the beauty of these things. And uh, believe me, this, this Citroën, 10, 15 years ago, the price was half what it is now, this car. You know, a completely revised one you could buy for 8,000 euro, 8, 9,000 euro. Yeah, but uh, they doubled in price in 15 years. And what you see also with these Marans is they, they doubled in price, they three doubled in price in 10 years. Yeah, so I'm not sure where the end is. I'm not sure how much this 2075 will cost 10 years from now. I, I'm not a fortune teller, but it can easily be that this thing have a value from 1500 euro. That can be easy. It can, it can easily be that it is only 800 or 900 euro. I'm not sure, not sure, nobody knows, you know. But, but, but if you invest in this, this kind of things, I mean, if you buy these kind of amplifiers, it's a better investment, a much better investment than put your money on the bank because you have 0% interest. And if you, you place 1000 euro uh, in the bank from five years of, from now, it is still 1000 euro. <laughs> if you buy a Marans from 1000 euro in five years from now, maybe it is 12, 13, 1400 euro. That's, 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 you know, but we do not see this as an investment. I sometimes think, okay, I, I do not sell my Maranses, not anymore. As soon as I score a Marans, I will stack it because I think, why should I sell it? It only uh, every year it is more expensive. So why would why would I sell it today? I have plenty more stuff to sell. Okay, okay. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, something else. It was something else, you know, than my normal video, my VS test. I'm going to 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 do a sound test between the this Marans and the Aquiface, you know, and. Uh, but yeah, I think this is an important fact, you know, to know that at the end of the, you know, the increase of price of these 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 these, these machines is not on the end yet. Yeah? Thanks for watching. Put those thumbs up. And for now, I say ciao, ciao.